Welcome to episode 1 of our Avalon Vista Romantic Rhine vlog series. In this episode we're in the Dutch port of Amsterdam and we give you our first impressions of the Avalon Vista river cruise ship. Right then, welcome to our new adventure. As you can see, uh, we're not at home. We are on... What's the matter? As you can see, we're not at home. Well, this isn't our bedroom. Well, not that anyone knows that. Oh, well, ah, okay. But anyway, we've started a new adventure. We've been kindly been invited by um, Avalon Waterways to um, join them on one of their river cruises in Europe. And we have just arrived at the um, fabulous Avalon Vista. So our adventure started in Cardiff. It Cardiff. Cardiff Airport. <laughs> Cardiff Airport. Where is Cardiff? Well, in Wales. Oh, is that? So uh, we had a, our first experience with the KLM, which actually, uh, the flight was brilliant, wasn't it? Well, let's start with Cardiff Airport. There was yes. A, there was about seven people there, yeah. which was great. Last, Very civilised. Last time we flew, we flew from Bristol, there was 19 million, million people there. And I'm not exaggerating. Of course I'm exaggerating. We got to Cardiff, we walked in. Yeah, couldn't ghost see, town. Couldn't see more than about 25 people. It was it, initially. It was amazing. Yeah, but the whole process there was brilliant. Yes. Uh, KLM flight, very good. Even got a complimentary um, soft drink and a sandwich, which you just don't get on short oh. hour flights, do you, anymore? Short hour flights? Short one hour flights. Oh, yeah, because it was an hour long. And it was mm. like, I thought I'm going to have a little snooze here. And then I put my head against the window and Carl said, oh, they're bringing some food around me. He's like, what, really? Yeah, I know. Cheese sandwich and a, I had a cup of coffee. And I had a water. It was lovely. Yeah, yeah. And then we landed in um, Schiphol. I'm not even going to try. <laughs> Amsterdam Airport. Yeah, Amsterdam Airport. And um, was waiting for our luggage to come out and our big case come out. And then we waited. And waited. And waited. And waited. And waited. And waited. <laughs> And uh, then the sign came up. All um, luggage from Cardiff has been um, offloaded. Distributed. Mm. So our little case wasn't there. Now, the few things that we learnt straight away is uh, we bought air tags um, before our last trip. We did. And um, obviously, for those that don't know air tags, uh, they're an Apple product, which you can get Android products as well, where you put them in your suitcase, and it's like a tracking device, basically. You have an app on your phone. Um, so we knew, Paul put the, his app on, and we knew that the suitcase was actually in Amsterdam Airport. Um, I'll put a description, in the description below, I'll put a link to the Apple air tags so you can see exactly what we mean. Um, and thankfully, it was in Amsterdam, so, which was a great start. Yes. Uh, so we thought, well, it's here, it just hasn't received come on the right belt so you went up to the KLM lady didn't yeah. you they tracked it down in no time at all um, we, we showed them a picture of our suitcase so that's another top tip take a picture of your suitcase so as they know what it looks yeah, like yeah take a photo and, and have it on your um, phone ready just in case within about 10 or 15 minutes it was all sorted yeah she's we were very helpful we were reunited because you know you should with our suitcase after our suitcase um, issues we uh, met our Avalon rep didn't we at the meeting point which was easy to find um, for normal people but we had to ask a few people <laughs> I like how you said then for normal people. Yes. yes. But anyway, so we met our Avalon. Um, well, we're special and we tie around. We are. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so we met the Avalon staff who were lovely, weren't they? Yeah, uh, we were very apologetic because we've been uh, late because yeah. of our cases, but actually, it doesn't matter because the. The coaches to the ships in Amsterdam sort of do like a circular route, don't they? So there's people coming in at all different times, so don't feel bad if you are a little bit late, because we felt a bit guilty. We're like, oh my God, I hope they haven't been waiting for us, like a transfer, but they hadn't, so it was fine. Um, and within, what, 20 minutes we were on the coach and we are on the way to the ship. And uh, then we met the lovely Avalon Vista. Right then, so we've just got to go past the Viking ship and we'll be at our ship. We will. Yes, so let's go. Woohoo! There she is! Lovely!
this is. Look at this. And we're on. Woo! Oh. <laughs> So as soon as we got on, it was then about just only about ten o'clock, wasn't it? Half ten. Half ten, I reckon. Mm. So. Uh, very slick uh, checking-in process. Um, our first impression of the ship, you look around and think, "Oh my God, this is just lovely and well modern and clean and windows everywhere." That was my first impression. Modern, clean windows. What no. everybody wants. <laughs> So That's why punctuation is very important. It is. So we went to the lounge where we just had to wait. Our cabin wasn't ready, so we just went there and sat there, didn't we? Uh, there's a complimentary coffee machine in the Panorama Lounge, I think it's called. We'll be checking with this, won't we, as we get to know the ship better. Um, and we had some coffees and we waited till our um, cabin was ready. Um, and then we excitedly went to the cabin. And we're in cabin 230. <gasps> Come on, Paulie Morgan. Open the door. So we're in a panorama suite. No, it's not suite, it's you know a cabin. Me. You know me, I'm full of information. I don't know I'm in this cabin. Yes. So let's go in. Oh, luggage is all here, as they said. <gasps> Lovely. This is really spacious, isn't it, Pauline? And look at the floor to ceiling. That's exactly what we love, isn't it? Yeah. Ooh, TV. Quick pan around. All our luggage here. Hello. Yes. Hello. What do you think so far, Paulie Morgan? Beautiful, yeah. First impressions of this ship is um, everything is just top notch. Real. <laughs> so what's in here? Is this a fridge? Oh yes, we've got mini bar, but we'll have to pay for them because we've only got drinks included with our. Um, so that's just a cupboard. We've got those box boxes, remember, Paulie, yeah, for, for excursions. excursions. Like We've got safe and pippers and dressing gowns and all about the Avalon Go app, which we'll show you about. Also about the, oh, that's the mini bar prices, which we'll uh, go into in depth later. And a good size and wardrobe. A good size wardrobe. Oh. Fab. And what about the bathroom, Paulie Moore? Can we do like a nice bathroom? Yeah, there's a bathroom. <laughs> oh. oh, nice. Oh, like a tame. I always, I always, oh. love, I always love if that was just some um, no. brand that nobody on planet Earth had heard of. Carrots Ladies will know. Carrots Ladies gold. will know. It's like Lacatan, that is awesome. Like Cunard. Oh, isn't la it? Oh, Lacatan. <laughs> but look, we've got a lovely, that's good. Oh, that's nice. No shower curtains on Avalon. Lovely. Oh, brilliant. So then it was time for our first meal on board, wasn't yes. it? Um, there wasn't, the restaurant wasn't open because it was at like embarkation day. So we actually went to um, the Panorama Lounge where we had our coffees and they had a buffet style lunch. And oh my God, there was a really good se selection, wasn't there? Was there? A crack, I don't know what it is about cruise ships, but I would never entertain sitting at home thinking, do you know, I'm gonna have a nice bowl of soup. But cruisers, they just, they're the masters at making soup. Well. They? And I have to say, I had a, a delicious soup with some croutons. Yeah. Uh, and you had the same. And then they, they had like a pasta bake. Mm. They had loads of different salads. Um, they had cakes. And it was all blooming delicious. It was. So first impression of the food, we thought, ooh, because yes. this was just a little taster. Because um, we've heard Avalon food's very, very good. Yeah. Um, so, But we weren't disappointed at Not all, at were all we? Not at all, So with our bellies full, we decided to go off and explore Amsterdam. The beauty, one of the beauties about uh, river cruising, I don't know if you've seen our um, things you need to consider before river cruising, I'll put a link in here uh, when we did our first one with Tui in um, April, was that you're right in the centre of everything, aren't you? Yes, um, and, and that's one of the disadvantages of ocean cruise ships. Yes. Is sometimes they're too big 
to get into places like Amsterdam yeah. even though we have done an ocean cruise that got quite close but that was on a very small cruise ship but you get off the ship the river cruise ship and it's very very easy to explore yeah 10 minutes uh we're part parked we're docked just um not far from amsterdam central train station yes. and within 10 minutes you're right in the hub of the canals or the bustling uh, amsterdam i don't know if you've ever been to amsterdam everyone needs to experience amsterdam once in their lifetime because it's, yeah, it's, it's a fabulous city um We've been here before, as we said, on the Braemar, Fred Olsen, and we've also been here, um, oh, I can't remember where else were we, but we have been to Amsterdam yeah, before, twice, yeah. Yeah. Uh, twice um, and it is a fabulous city, it's this, it's hard to explain, isn't it, it's got this fab atmosphere, it's busy, it's crazy, it's got obviously beautiful canals, beautiful architecture, very unusual, bent buildings, um, leaning buildings, little streets that have got all sorts of shops, whatever you want to all shop for. All sorts of shops. <laughs> yeah. I mean all sorts. All sorts of shops. Nine million bicycles. Yes, it's just this, um, I love it. Yeah, it's fine. I'd yeah, like to spend more real, time in Amsterdam. It's got a really good atmosphere and um, unfortunately the atmosphere started off badly because I found a pub to watch the football in, mm. which went horribly wrong. So yes. we'll just draw a line under that. The best team definitely won, and it wasn't my team. So we'll move on to happier things. But say that just to say to um, our lovely viewers that if you are into football, there's a bar called Molly Malone's, um, which has got screens everywhere, and it's a really good um, spot. It isn't is, it? but I'm never going there again no. because I've been there twice now <laughs> yes. to watch Spurs play, um, years apart. And both times they lost, so I'm never ever going there again. So, in, you know, if you want your team to lose, go and watch them in Molly Burns. Well, no, because the other team won, and if they supported them. Well. Anyway, if you're looking for football, um, Molly Malone's is great. So after Paul's uh, depressing couple of hours, um, we headed off and explored some more, and we just it's it's one of the places to people watch. We came across a wedding wasn't it which was we fabulous did, yeah. we followed we got in the party didn't we and walked down the road which was lovely um and then we did some more walking around all these um funny little streets and we've happened upon this bar um which i'll put in here because i can't remember the name offhand um but we just heard some music and it reminds us of bar in gloucester i don't know if anyone from gloucester is watching this but in gloucester down this alley there's the um the pub called it's called the little cross keys yeah but we call it the pub that time we, forgot yeah, because you go in there and it's like you've seriously gone back in time <laughs> yeah but it's fab they have loud music um and all sort of um old school music that we love to dance yes. to so we heard this music we thought oh that sounds interesting we got in there and uh we were sat there was two stools at, stools stools at, the, at the bar yeah we, so we thought we'll it. sit there had a beer and oh my god we had a, a great hour there didn't we full of local dutch people it seemed that she the lady behind the bar was very friendly um and 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 laughing and dancing she had like a um a music system behind which she put in local i it guess was, they were local well, songs it was all, well it wasn't uh, it was dutch everything was dutch they didn't play any english music at all everything was dutch but it all had a good tune to it and every single person in that bar apart from two knew the worst of these dutch songs. yes and it the atmosphere was just was brilliant. And everybody we were even singing and we didn't even know the words <laughs> but it was just we it was just hilarious it was so it was such a fab time we did we did i soon forgot my football blues exactly <laughs> So yeah, so this is a little gem of a place, um, which like you said, you'll see the name here. Um, but then we thought, well, we better get back to the ship because we had our, our safety talks to attend. Yes. Um, and we didn't want to miss that. So back at the ship, we headed straight for the Panorama Lounge where we were introduced to all the staff, weren't yes. we? The captain, um, Daniela, the cruise director, who went through, uh, there was a very thorough safety. Um, I have to say, it was probably more thorough than a lot of ocean cruise yeah it was. it was very very thorough but you know she put it across in a way that um was, was light-hearted um introduced us to the 
the, the major members of staff. Uh, the one that stuck in my mind was a bloke with a great big tall white hat on. Because he's the he's food. My, so he's my favourite man along with the bar <laughs> manager. And then, um, and then it was, it was dinner time. It was. But I just want to pop in here. Um, Avalon have an app, and it's a really good app, isn't it? Carol Tars is a good app. I haven't put it on my no, phone. No, I've got it. And it tells you on there, I'll show you here. It tells you um, all about the ports, uh, the excursions. There's in, including excursions in every port. There's a daily newspaper. Um, and it's, well, it, as you can see here, it's just full of useful yeah. information. Yeah. So yes, yeah, so then it was time for our first dinner. For dinner, you can sit wherever you want to. If you want to meet people and you want to join a table, we decided we wanted to just sit on our own and suss out the menu and the food for the first yeah. night, didn't we? So Paul picked a table that had some nice big red chairs. Well, it was a table for ten. <laughs> and every time we go on a cruise, Carl says, we always eat too much bread when we go on a cruise. We would never sit at home and think, well, we're going to have a three-course meal now. What we're going to do is we're going to eat 18 bread rolls. So, but when you go on a cruise, you do. But because we were on a table for eight, there was enough bread rolls for eight. <laughs> and we ate them all. Well, but don't try and well. I love olive oil and balsamic vinegar, yes. and they've got quality. Oh, on it's it. lovely. Avalon is quality, isn't it? Everything you touch is really, don't you think? It's just, it is, it's not a budget river cruise line. It's, a, um, it's a, an excellent cruise line that obviously is quality. Um, and that's what I've noticed straight away. Big windows and quality. That's my first takeaway. Well, I love, you know. I think that's what they're going to put in their next advertising <laughs> campaign. Avalon. Big, big windows win <laughs> and quality. Um, but yes, but their the, the olive oil and their balsamic vinegar was just amazing. And we did um, eat a lot of bread. We ate a lot of bread. But then our starters of... I had a Dutch pancake, which is a savoury pancake um, with lots of cheese and stuff, which was mm. lovely. Uh, then I had soup, going back to because the soup. cruises are the masters of soup. Smoked sausage, wasn't it? And Smoked sausage soup, yes. Mm. Oh my God, it was delicious. Mm. And then I had um, a steak. Yes. And then I had, it was like a, sort of like a little apple crumbly tartlet. Yes. And then much to Carol's dismay, I had a cheese plate. As you can see with these grapes here. <laughs> <laughs> and... Ah! Um, I don't know if all river cruise lines do the same, but I know that when we did the Tui one they did, and on this one it's the same, is even if you haven't got any sort of drinks package, uh, beer and wine are included at lunch and at dinner. Yes. And it's fair to say they're not shy on topping your glass yeah. up. So there was plenty of beer and wine to be had as well. Yeah. Service. From, Excellent. Um, we had Gino and... Zim yes. looking after us and they, they were superb yeah. and it was a fabulous night. It was, it was a thoroughly enjoyable dining experience. I had salmon, I forgot to mention my salmon, but I had the rest the same as you didn't I? But it was a really lovely, lovely experience and um, we was. came away there feeling very contented didn't we? We came away feeling very contented and just before we were leaving they topped our drinks up again. Yes, they did. And Carol said, let's be some me. I'm so tired. I'm so tired, because obviously we had a 2.30 in the morning yeah. start. And ironically, our cabin's number is 2.30. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so we went to the... Um, Panorama Lounge. Panorama Lounge. And our bottoms had barely touched the seats where Carol said, I'm going to bed. Yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't stay awake. Could couldn't I? stay awake. I was, I was shattered. So... Um, but the first day on Avalon... Oh, great. That was... <coughs> we thought, fantastic. oh my gosh, yes. this is going to be a fabulous yeah. week. Thoroughly enjoyable day, yeah. apart from, you know, Spurs letting me down for the nine millionth time in my life. Yeah. Uh, and we got back to the cabin. I thought, well, actually, I'm not too sleepy. So I thought, I'll just see what's available on the TV. And I put the telly on, and they've got a fantastic library of films available. And Carol was already pushing Asleep. pushing the Zs up by then. And I thought, oh, I we watched the, J the new James Bond film at the cinema, but mm. I'd like to watch that again. So I put that on, and within about four and a half minutes, I was asleep. <laughs> not because the film's not good, because it's great, but mm. it, it just hit me as well. And I have to say, um, I could say I slept like a log, I woke up in the mm. fireplace, but I wouldn't do that joke. <laughs> so, absolutely yeah. fantastic night's sleep. Bed's really, really comfortable. Yeah. And so... Let's tell you about uh, our second day shortly. Yes, into day two. And if day one's anything to go by, we'll have no complaints. Exactly. 
Morning, morning. Right then. Mm. So welcome to day two of our Avalon Vista experience. Mm. Now we start the day, we put the alarm on for half seven because there's certain excursions that are included in the price uh, with Avalon. And uh, ours was the canal tour of Amsterdam because we were overnight in Amsterdam and we wanted to have a, even though we've known Amsterdam or been a few times, we haven't done it from the water, have we? No. So we were up at half seven and uh, we went straight up to the Panorama dining room or restaurant well, we didn't. for we breakfast. Went, we didn't go up to it, we went down to it. Oh yes. <laughs> We did, we went down. I already know the ship better than Carola. Mm. Down went to the dining room. Yes. And again, sit where you like, buffet style bre breakfast. Yes. But just Coffee's in, served, isn't it? Drinks yeah, are served. Yeah, coffees and teas are brought to you. Yeah. Um, but everything Gino else, was there again. Yeah, Gino. He, would, um... he wouldn't bring me a beer, though. Because <laughs> apparently quarter to eight is too early for a beer. Um, but yeah, they got um, they had bacon and sausages and beans and all sorts of English stuff you uh, you may not or may not English expect. Food. No, but I mean more towards an English breakfast. breakfast. But they also had a, an egg station that done omelettes. Um, they had lots of different pastries. They had pff, like tons of fruit. And then randomly, I thought, what? Why is there a cake? And it was sort of, but it I'll wasn't laid down why. flat, and it was, and it was sort of like that angle. And I thought, why is that man scraping away at well, that cake? Well, let me tell you, because I, as you know, trying to eat healthier, and um, I was thinking, I want some granola and some fruit and some um, healthy stuff. Now, one thing I've noticed about Avalon, healthy options are everywhere. Yes. If you want to eat healthily um, on uh, cruising. I think this is the best that I've seen for a, for a long time, um, as in a small buffet where you can just obviously go for help yourself. Now I went straight for the granola and found fruit, but also what I found was this poor said about the cake. I looked at it and thought, what on earth is he on about cake? What it was, it was actually a whole honeycomb, so you know, from bees. Um, and you literally put your, I know that sounds a bit bizarre, but if you know what we're saying, but fresh honeycomb. <laughs> it was a honeycomb from bees, not from goats. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but you know what I mean? And you just got your spoon and you scraped it off. And oh my God, I've never had, I've had honey, because I love honey, but I've never had fresh honeycomb um, on my um, granola, but also had um, just uh, natural yogurt. But the other thing that they had, which you just don't see is, um, for a long time, I'll go to the supermarket, like, right, I'm gonna put some healthy things in my basket. And I'll go and see um, like flax seeds and linseeds and all the, the seeds that you um, should eat to be healthy, quinoa and all that. Uh, but then I look at the price and I think, oh my God, how can I justify spending 40 quid on seeds? But you know what? I'm full of seeds. Wow. <laughs> because there was just so much to go She's on my quinoa. She's full of something, I can tell you that. <laughs> Mate. Seeds and honey, I don't, I don't know what you were thinking. <laughs> But anyway, so um, I had the most delicious breakfast full of healthiness and and, and it was lovely. Um, so that's a first for us, seeing a whole honeycomb on there. Yeah, it was, yeah. Um, there was lots of people talking about it, to be honest. There, there was, was. Yeah, there was quite a buzz around it, wasn't there? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Yes, so that was breakfast, so that was a real hit, wasn't yes. it? And as we were sat there, uh, the maitre d', who's lovely, started putting the... I, I set the GoPro up as a time-lapse, just to... Because the river here is f just full of barges and busy, activity. Busy, yeah. So I thought, I'll just put that there, because it was the rain had came down and it stopped. So I put the um, time-lapse, which I'll show you here now, and he came and said, oh, I'm just going to pull the... Um, Blind were like, no, don't you know there's a ship coming and there was a ship, well as you'll see now, turning. So hopefully you'll you'll see um the view that we had during breakfast, um, which he wanted to stop, but we said no, leave it oh. open. But he did put the blinds down everywhere else and it was really quite dark Ooh. then, wasn't it? But we said to him, Oi, Maitre D, leave those blinds alone. <laughs> <laughs> no, we didn't. But anyway, um, so that was a great breakfast, and before we knew it, it was quarter to, to nine, and we needed to get up to the Panama, 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 Panorama Lounge, ready for the excursion. Right then, so we um, went to Panorama Lounge, and uh, we had to pick a little coloured disc out of a bag, didn't we, to see which group we were in for our excursion. We picked green. 
Yeah, so it was like a lime, a limey mm. fluorescent green. It and had no bearing on anything, it just meant what guide you had for your, yeah. for your tour. And to make sure that everyone had a canal boat and had the right numbers were there. And little did we know, we met this lovely couple, didn't we, yesterday, um, when we got on the ship, um, called Duncan and Fran. They're actually Scottish, but they've been living in Brisbane in Australia for 40 odd years. And we just hit it off with them yeah. straight away, didn't we? And little did they were in the green team too. Yes. So um, we headed off the ship to our excursion for the canal of Amsterdam and it was great wasn't it? It was, it was really interesting. It was, yeah. um, we walked, I don't know, about 10 minutes, um, got on a little canal boat and had the uh, the views around Amsterdam. She was really informative yeah. too, wasn't she, the guide, and quite comical yeah, in parts good as laugh, well. Yeah. Lots of interesting stories about leaning houses. We saw the narrowest house in Amsterdam. Yeah. We went past Anne Frank's house, but it was all scaffolded up, unfortunately, so we couldn't see what that was like. But, yeah. Um, but, but yeah, the story behind that is that actually she was hidden a house behind, behind that, it, yeah. wasn't it? So, yeah. um, yes. But anyway, we'll, he, here's some of the uh, lovely scenery that we had this morning. So after our lovely uh, canal trip, we were dropped off um, the other end of Amsterdam, actually, wasn't it? We could have got a bus back, but we chose to, to walk with Duncan and Fran, yeah. wasn't it? Through Amsterdam and see a little bit more because we were obviously sailing away uh, around about 2.30, wasn't it? It was. We, um, we wandered... Went, we went past the most famous chip shop in Amsterdam. Yes. We did. And I Duncan and Fran what... said that they had had yeah. some there with mayo and uh, tomato sauce. They had, like, something ridiculous, like... 50 different sources to go yeah. on your, your and there was already yeah. they hadn't opened there was already a queue Q for outside, them wasn't yeah, there it was mad uh, we went to a fabulous cheese shop we did and bought some really smelly cheese so we're going to enjoy that when we get home and we just sat and had a coffee and well you boys had a beer me and uh, Fran had a coffee and just chatted about all sorts of things which was lovely and ended up walking back towards the ship through Amsterdam train station now if you've never been to Amsterdam train station it's just from the outside it looks like this really um I mean, it's a very beautiful, beautiful building, building. Yeah. and it ins and looks really old. Yeah. But when you get inside, it's this huge modern underground world, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was mad, Full of yeah. shops, full of restaurants, full of bars. It was just um, mm. amazing. And they have these passageways that you can get, obviously, to the river, um, which apparently close at 7 p.m. So, um, but that was really interesting it was, itself, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. So um, we had a good mooch through there and headed back to the ship. And when we got on the ship, it was ready for lunch time, wasn't it? So uh, there was a very light lunch in the Panorama Lounge if you want to just have light bites. But uh, we decided to go to the restaurant because we were starving weren't we because we hadn't eaten since breakfast um and it was now about what 12 30 yes indeed. um and they had another fabulous spread on didn't they again um apparently this is the theme all all through the cruise it's buffet breakfast buffet lunch proper sit down with a menu dinner dinner i had chicken satay with a nasty goring fried rice which was delicious as a starter just a little tiny portion and then carol came back which she described as a Dutch version of bangers and mash. And it was like a smoked sausage cut into little pieces in a mashed potato, and there was like onions and all mm, sorts of it. And delicious. I have to say, oh my God, it was delicious. It was so I good. I had lots of vegetables on the side yeah, of mine. I didn't. Um, and then for dessert, they had donut balls, and you had the option, if you wanted it, of two different flavours of ice cream. And they had all sorts of chocolate sauce and little bits of nuts and all to go on the top of it. They did. And it was delicious. It was. I stuck with a bit of um, Dutch bangers and mash and vegetables and it was lovely um yes I do, I do recall you trying one of my donut balls as well i did you had three balls yeah. <laughs> but after lunch we came back to the cabin um had a bit of a freshen up and decided it was nearly sail away and we wanted to be upstairs upstairs it says upstairs because the it ship's so upstairs, small yeah. yeah so we want to be on deck to see the sail away from amsterdam and it was fabulous really yeah, poorly uh, join us in episode two where we sail away from amsterdam 
and reach our next port of Cologne.